secret accounts in a public office. Tonight, state officials are being asked to get to the bottom of it in the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office. We've learned the request follows an audit by the county treasurer and no response from Prosecutor Eric Smith. 7 investigator Jim Kurtzner is digging into this controversy now in a story you'll see only on 7. Treasury is reviewing this request. This letter outlines hidden bank accounts over several years. And get this, the balance was more than a quarter of a million dollars last week. It's pretty serious that you've had to request the state to investigate this, correct? We're not going to comment on the seriousness of it. The purpose of the investigation is to make that determination. This is the letter late last week requesting the Michigan Treasury and any other appropriate state agencies to investigate these matters. This is some serious money. It's not chump change. Correct? We're not going to comment on it any further. They'll let you have a copy of the letter. We're waiting for the state to respond. According to the letter, this started with a single hidden account and grew over the summer. Not one off-book accounts, but four. A combined balance of 239000 as of August 21. The prosecutor, chief assistant, and a third employee are the only signers of record. And two accounts had the county's tax ID moved to a third party, meaning out of further oversight by anyone else in the county. So it's undetermined yet who should control these funds? That's why we're waiting for the state to respond. One county official suggested these could be slush funds set up by the prosecutor to deposit forfeiture money from criminal cases, like the seizure of a car in a drunk driving case or cash from a drug dealer. How much and how the money is being spent only under his control. We contacted County Commission Chairman Bob Smith, who is the brother of the prosecutor, and have not heard back. And we went to Prosecutor Eric Smith's office. We were told he was not in. Secretary is coming down. Thank you very much. Late this afternoon, we got a statement from the prosecutor saying these are forfeiture funds and they cannot be improperly co-mingled with the county general fund and they are working with the treasurer to resolve these issues. In Mount Clemens, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. We'll continue to follow, Jim. Thank you. Now